First inning, one nothing Giants. Marquise Grissom homer. First time he's ever met Barry Bonds. He walks Barry Bonds. Smart move. <laughs> Not bad. Bonds up again in the third. Learner. 1 0 count. Swing and a miss. 1 1. 2 1 count. Another swing and a miss. 2 2. Full count. Ball four. Bonds walks again. Willis matched his career high with four walks. Matched his career low, which is 1K. Sixth inning. And Grissom hitting that one off Willis. His knee ball goes into right field. Willis was okay. Stayed in the game. Said, hey, man, I'm, I'm in front of my home. Oh. Next batter, Bonds. No, you're not okay. Singles to right center. First and third with nobody out. That's going to bring up Mrs. C's favorite player. That'd be Fonzie. Hey. Base hit, scores Grissom, ties it at two, and Willis is gone from the game. Chad Fox in, he walks Benito Santiago and then brings up Andres Galarraga with the bases loaded, and the big cat had a big night. Three hits. Giants go up 3-2 as Bond scores. Willis is out. Best home team in the majors wins it, 6-4. Cincinnati at Houston. Astros are 11 and 3 against the Reds this season. Bottom three. Seth Atherton facing the old fat Elvis. Lance Berkman double to right. Biggio scores. Berkman's 62nd career RBI against the Reds in 57 games. He loves that as almost as much as peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Fried. Ooh. Bottom eight. 3 2 Reds. Bases loaded. Ryan Wagner one out and gets Orlando Merced swinging. Next batter. Adam Everett, ground ball to second, and Wagner out of the jam. Bottom nine, 4-3, Chris Reedsma pitching. Two on, two outs. Jason Lane, fly ball to left. Not nearly far enough. How about that? The Reds. Seth Edelman making his second start this season. They beat the Astros 4-3. All right, why wait for the morning paper? Get your NL Central standings here and now. Astros and Cards both lose, meaning the Cubs are now a half game behind Houston for the lead in the NL Central. Pitching out, we'll get to that in a bit. First, though, Jim Tome and the Phils. Day four of that stretch, 27 games, 27 days. They're 0 for 3 after a bad trip to Milwaukee. Top four, Phillies down one nothing, no longer. Dan Heron, Jim Tomey, Tomey, he hit ball far. 35th, he is wearing out the Cardinals. 449 lifetime, 22 for 14-9. Bottom seven, Pujols hitless this far, fourth at bat. Mm, still stuck on 30. Real Cormier, former Cards, gets him. Cards think maybe that's it, could it be? Have to see if he gets up again in the ninth. Oh, and there goes Tomey again. His fifth homer in his last four games against the Cards. 36-5 for Phils. Goodness, top nine, Esteban Yan pitching, trailing 7-4. It's Marlon Bird. Jan, right behind him. Both benches wow, worn okay. by home plate umpire Jim Joyce. And Jan up and in. Benches are going to clear. Nothing going to happen here out of this bad boy. Just a lot of arguing. It's too bad because while they argued, Pat Bromash hit a couple of home runs, number 100 and 101 of his career. Keep talking. Bottom nine, last chance for Pujols. And no, he's going to have to settle for the 30-game hit streak, tied for the second longest in team history with Stan Musial. He's 0 for 5, Phil's winning 9-4. Albert Pujols, 30-game hit streak done. It spanned 40 days, 118 at bats. The Cards actually played 35 games in that span. They won 19 of them. The streak included the one game in which Pujols was ejected before recording an official at bat. Remarkably, he only raises his overall average three points. As mentioned, the Cards had a couple of arms Friday night. Lefty Sterling Hitchcock gets out of New York, and we'll get some innings in St. Louis. One in three, 27 appearances only. One start with New York this season. And reliever Mike DeJean comes over from the Brewers for two players, a couple of minor league pitchers, 189, 18 saves. But he can work as a setup man. He's been great since the All-Star break. Cubs Diamondbacks. Kurt Schilling, 17 consecutive innings of scoreless baseball. Top one, one on, two outs. There goes the scoreless streak. Sammy Sosa, no home runs in his last 10 games. That's a two-run shot. 29th, six home run lifetime against Schilling. It's 2-0. Top four. Well, some is good. More is better. Sammy off Schilling again. 30th. Ninth straight 30 home run season for Sammy. Carlos Zambrano. Meet him and greet him.
161 ERA since the All-Star break. Five home runs allowed this season, fewest in the majors, minimum 125 innings. He's hot, and he is hot on Friday night, bottom six. Zambrano, no hitter. Tony Womack, the former snake, back in the Matt Cata shot, saving the no-no. Bottom eight, two outs. Shea Hillenbrand, remember the bloop single leading off the eighth, broke up with Dallas Perez, no hitter against the Dodgers in July. Oh, he breaks it up there. Randall Simon stretches. The call by Kevin Kelly, a fill-in from the minors, is that Hillenbrand was safe. TV replays seem to indicate he was out. Bottom nine, 4-1. Zambrano gets Alex Citron to ground out to short. Game over. Cubs win it. 4-1. He just told me that, you know, this is my ball game and, uh, you know, don't lose any con concentration and uh, keep uh, the job that I've been doing and throw the ball like uh, I did in the first seven innings and that's nothing, you know. Uh, and he told me that in my career I, I, I will have, uh, you know, some uh, uh, no haters and, you know, I lose that one, just keep, uh, keep it continuing. In Colorado, where the Rockies just finished sweeping the Marlins. It's all very neat and clean, but as you can imagine, the folks in Atlanta a little hot. Oh, Gary Sheffield rung up, and then a couple of words, and you're gone. Well, naturally, Bobby Cox, he's going to come out and get an early tee time. He's run for the eighth time this season. That guy, he gets thrown out about half the time he puts on his jersey. Now, how are the Braves going to win this game without Chef and their manager? Well, Greg Maddox won a lifetime at Coors. Braves lead the majors in homers, and they've beaten the Rockies four straight times. But Colorado might win because Jason Jennings, 7-0 at home this season. The Rocks, their home record is stellar, and the Braves have lost five straight road games. Well, after Mr. Maddox went six innings, allowing three hits, he got some offense courtesy of Chipper Jones. Ain't altitude baseball fun. Upper deck, 463 is the tape measure on it. So it's the Maddox gets the win 5-0 at Coors as the Rockies win it by a count of 9-3. Check them all off. Yankees-Orioles, New York just sort of playing its way to the playoff. Sterling Hitchcock, you've been traded. Say goodbye to everybody. Nice seeing you. Enjoy. <laughs> Top third, Jake Gibbons, David Wells, Liner, and Deki Matsui runs over, gets it. Nice running. And then Jeff Kona. He has got it way in reverse, but he is not going to be able to hustle back. Well done by Matsui, both with the catch and the throw. Bottom third, Alfonso Soriano was just leaving. What a good idea. That was for Fawn Leibowitz. Pat Hankin gives up the go for ball. 27th, Soriano, 3-2 in favor of the Yanks. Top six, Davey Cruz smacks the ball to left center. Jay Gibbons scoring easily. It's 4-3, Orioles lead. They could play a spoiler. They got a lot of games against the top teams in the American League. Bottom nine, two out, two on. Or a Julio, 3-0 count. Ball four, bases Chuck. Mike Hargrove seen enough. New pitcher, Buddy Groom. Ruben Sierra, the pinch hitter. The first pitch skies it out there. Gibbons makes the catch. Orioles win it 4-3. Team sends its top pitcher for an x-ray. The diagnosis is expected to be tendonitis in his right hip. The prognosis is thought to be two starts shelved. Then it starts to get weird. A fracture shows up on the picture inside the body. The team has no idea how it got there. They do have an idea of what it means. They're winning as pitcher this season. Mark Mulder is out, likely for the rest of the season. Almost sounds like a case for Agent Fox Mulder. Our agent in charge of what this loss means for Oakland, no, A's up one game over Boston in the wild card. Three back to Seattle in the West. Miguel Tejada has acted in the past like Sky Dome was his corn. Continues the 4-H theme with his 10th homer in 20 games at Jay's yard. Beats Roy Halladay, who's really struggled as of late. Ditto for Oakland on the road when Barry Zito is pitching. Zito's ERA has been groovy. The results have been a bummer, dude. 0-4 despite an ERA under two. He's already given up an earned run to end a streak of 17 scoreless on the road. More to come in the sixth. Vernon Wells singles. Carlos Delgado drives him home. His AL leading 117th RBI. Next batter's Tom Wilson. Walk this way. Next batter's Bobby Kielty. Get out of the way. Runners advance on the wild pitch and advance even further on the RBI double. This game is tied. Next batter, Chris Woodward. Game untied. RBI single. Wilson scores. Zito gives up five earned and five and a third out. Pitch by Halliday, who wins his AL leading 17th game. Jays take it 6-3.
Mariners, Red Sox, four big ones at the fence, bottom seven. Sox are up 4-3. Manny Ramirez going to add to it off. Julio Mateo, a solo shot. His fifth in nine games, 31 on the year, 5-3 Red Sox. Top nine now. Mariners trailing 6-3. Ben Davis off Young Yankee. Oh, BK Kim, CPR means the same thing, basically. But Trot Nixon is out there, and he's got it and brings it back. No two-run homer. Remarkable. Trot Nixon flashed back to May 16th, and apparently he's owed one because Jeff Devanin was out there. The Angels, well, now he got a base hit, but he didn't get the home run. Back to Friday, Bob Melvin. He's going to come out and argue and argue and argue. And, well, what's he arguing about? Because he sees something fall off there. We arrow, It's a bottle, and it's going to fall off the wall. And, well, yeah, look, it's nothing. It ain't the ball. It's good. No trickeration there. Still ninth inning. Go ahead, run it the plate two outs Edgar Martinez Kim gets him to pop out that's one big whew. Sox win it by count of 6-4 let's do the math A's lose Red Sox win teams back even in the AL wild card chase and Friday Oakland in Toronto with John Halama taking the mound not a camel Halama this Elvis Knight in Chicago bottom second Jose Valentin Juan Dominguez and you can return that to Cinder the first to two for Valentin White Sox up 3-0 bottom third Frank Thomas and as we all know wise men say only fools give Frank something to hit 4-0 Sox big hurts 32nd top nine Ramon Navarre gonna fly Willie Harris is out there it's written here tiny bobbles but that's Don Ho right well yeah I love the Hawaii of course Elvis, you recall, Blue Hawaii, heir to a big pineapple. Oh, well, there you see it again. You know what they say, not about tactics, baby. It's just the beast within me, or so said the king in Jailhouse Rock. The Sox win it 7-1. to one. Love the mutton chops. Mahalo for the Hawaii props. Kansas City at Minnesota. Royals have lost four straight. Bottom five, Daryl May, Louis Rivas. Two on, twins down, a field goal. Rivas, shot to right, Aaron Guile. Going to pick it up and do some things. Going to go to Desi Relaford. Jock Jones has already scored on this play, but Shannon Stewart, no. Take a look at take a look at Jones, playing right next to the plate. What's he doing that for? Better question was, what was the third base coach doing waving home Stewart? Top eight, J.C. Romero, Raul Ibanez, soft liners, Denny Hawking. Royals still up 3-2. Bottom nine, Jeremy Affel facing Shannon Stewart. Went three for four, that's the one he didn't get. And the Royals, hold on, 3-2. Chicago wearing the yellow jersey in the Central when Friday began, and with the win, they remain in that attire. KC flips the twins, so those two flip-flop in the standings. It's now the Royals. One game behind Chicago. Minnesota, one and a half back. Wild card hopes since the All-Star break. Al Leiter, Hideo Nomo, both pitching well. Leiter, four and one. Nomo, five and one. The ERA's both under two, so we got a pitcher's duel first, though. Mike Piazza against Nomo. You know, they say if you can catch him, you can hit him, but well, not always. Nasty splitter there. Half a swing. That's the whole strike. Top six. Piazza plate. Grounds over. Cabrera return the 4 3 double play, taking himself. Then in the eighth against it. Oh, not a good return trip to Hollywood. Piazza 0 for 4 on the night. Couple of K's, couple of double plays. Top nine, Eric Gagne on. 2 1 game. Yeah, you know that's over. Gets Jeff Duncan swinging. Dodgers win it 2 1. San Diego, Expos 3-0 against the Padres this season. Mark Kotze, Joey Aisha, no, they're all in those throwback jerseys. Some people call those the throw-up jerseys. <laughs> Bottom seven, sound up. I saw that guy at karaoke night the other night, and we asked him to leave the bar. Top nine, five three, Todd Zeal, Rod Beck. Rod Beck's just getting it done. Padres win it 5-3. Yeah, all right, let's take a look at the standings here now. Philly keeps their edge in the wild card race with a big win over the Cardinals, and Florida falls a game and a half back after their loss to the Giants. The Cubs win brings them within four games of your NL wild card lead.